Atlas, Boston Dynamics's iconic humanoid robot, is up to something. Before we get into that, a quick preview of what's to come. Stick around for the latest in humanoid robotics, including the cutting-edge Chinese robot showcased at the 2024 World Robot Conference, bionic electronic skin for enhanced robot sensors, Disney's latest robotic advancements, and a legless humanoid from Florida, plus a legendary throwback robot from Japan and other updates you might have missed. Remember to subscribe to stay hip as the humanoid robot market advances rapidly and leave a comment to suggest robots to cover. This is fresh footage of the new fully electric Atlas AI robot working out. Boston Dynamics shared the 22-second clip of the humanoid robot doing push-ups on X. It's the first public video of the new Atlas since the company shared a short teaser in April 2024. That's also when the original hydraulic Atlas was officially retired. According to TechCrunch, the clip debuted during a recent conference presentation. Atlas debuted in 2013, initially developed for search and rescue applications with funding and oversight from DARPA. Boston Dynamics says the robot's form factor makes it ideal for working alongside people, but it's designed to exceed human capabilities. The new Atlas features electric actuators rather than hydraulics for improved efficiency, precise control, and less complexity. Electric systems tend to run quieter and are generally more energy efficient, which is crucial for robots performing continuous tasks. Boston Dynamics has also improved its software in recent years with advanced AI and machine learning tools. Reinforcement learning and computer vision help Atlas understand and adapt to complex situations, improving its usefulness in the real world. In a recent blog post, the company stressed that commercializing advanced robots like Atlas requires patience, a virtue that may be elusive as competition grows rapidly in the humanoid robot market. China's rapidly advancing humanoid robot market was showcased during the 2024 World Robot Conference in Beijing. Organizers expected more than 800,000 visitors for the event, which attracts tech companies, researchers, and industry leaders from all over the world. According to Shanghai Eye, 27 different types of humanoid robots grabbed attention for visitors, including Tiangong, a general-purpose, fully electric humanoid robot developed by the Beijing Humanoid Robot Innovation Center that can run, dance, and manipulate objects with precision. The showcase also featured ex-robots like like creations that replicate human emotions and behaviors with increasing accuracy. According to the South China Morning Post, the robots take from two weeks to a month to produce and cost upwards of $280,000. They're mostly for display purposes, but X-Robot aims to integrate them across sectors as technology advances. The Walkerus Light by UB Tech that's used in industrial settings like Zeker's 5G Smart Electric Vehicle Factory. The humanoid robot is a lighter, more deployable version of the Walker S that's reportedly been in testing at another EV maker, Neo. Leiju Robotics' is Quavo, an AI robot that can cook, prepare drinks, sort items, and has also been deployed by Neo. Robot Tiani, a service robot that identifies emotion as it interacts with people. The Astrobot S1, an advanced AI robot assistant that uses imitation learning to perform tasks with precision and autonomy. The DRH3, the first humanoid robot by Deep Robotics, which focuses on quadruped robots. And the G1 humanoid robot by Unitree, which just introduced the mass production ready version of the robot that retails for $16,000. China aims for a robust humanoid robot innovation system by 2025. The Chinese government wants to mass-produce humanoid robots by then and dominate the market globally by 2027. According to China Daily, the market size for humanoid robotics in China is projected to grow to 75 billion yuan by 2029. Chinese officials and business leaders want to nurture a few large-scale companies and create a cluster of specialized small and mid-sized enterprises. Scientists have developed new technology to help robots feel liquids the same way humans do. The Bionic Electronic Skin Tech, or eSkin, changes the movement of droplets into electric signals using triboelectric nanogenerators. 
It's similar to how static electricity is generated when rubbing a balloon on hair, but on a much smaller scale. This signals which direction droplets are sliding and how fast they're moving. The robots get real-time feedback so they can react quickly as needed. The researchers from China and Singapore say the e-skin can be used in military, rescue missions, and smart devices to make them safer and more efficient. The research was conducted by a team from Donghui University in Shanghai, China, the National University of Singapore, and the Suzhou Institute of Nanotech and Nanobionics at the Chinese Academy of Sciences. Disney Research Hub has introduced a way to help robots move more smoothly and accurately. In a new research paper, the team from Switzerland says it makes robots better perform complex, dynamic tasks. The method, called Versatile Motion Priors, or VMP, has two steps. First, the robot watches short clips of movements and learns to understand them. The robot studies this data to recognize patterns and understand the movements. The robot practices using this knowledge to control its movements precisely. The research hub is renowned for developing cutting-edge tech in robotics, computer graphics, and interactive media. They also recently created a new bipedal robot with leg movements designed for artistic expression. Geared toward entertainment applications, the robot uses a reinforcement learning-based control system to perform complex, artist-directed motions. The system adapts and learns to execute these motions more efficiently with advanced AI. Its motions are guided by an animation engine that blends several animation sources for fluid and realistic motions. The researchers say the approach delivers more dynamic and realistic performances compared to robots with rigid pre-programmed movements. According to Disney Research Hub, the control system is user-friendly so operators can easily guide the robot in real time during performances. The Disney division focuses on advancing technology and innovation in areas like robotics, artificial intelligence, and immersive technologies. The lab also recently developed a novel way to design soft robots that use air to move and interact with their surroundings. A robot's shape is perfected using a computer model that accurately predicts how it'll move. The soft pneumatic actuator design using differentiable simulation method was tested on artistic and practical robots. Alex from Boardwalk Robotics is a humanoid robot built for industrial tasks using tools safely without legs. The robot can handle tools, assemble items, and perform precise repairs in factories and warehouses. Instead of legs, it has a stable base or can be mounted on a platform. Alex has 19 degrees of freedom with a payload capacity of 10 kilograms. Future versions might be upgraded with legs. Boardwalk Robotics says Alex is being piloted at an aviation company. Introduced in 2003, HRP2 was developed by the National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology in Japan. It was the result of a broader Japanese initiative aiming to advance robotics in daily life and disaster response applications. HRP2 traversed uneven terrain and maintained balance in challenging positions. It could even perform tasks while maintaining stability. Its highly dexterous hands manipulated objects with precision. Tasks it performed included using tools, opening doors, and assembly. It perceived and interacted with its surroundings with its advanced vision systems and sensors. It recognized objects and avoided obstacles while navigating spaces it could be operated autonomously or remotely. Researchers built on the humanoid robot's capabilities with subsequent revision. Tesla is assembling a team to train its humanoid robot Optimus to act more human. The EV automaker is seeking applicants willing to wear special motion capture suits and perform various tasks in its Palo Alto office. The special suits record the workers' movements, which Tesla then uses to train the humanoid robot's AI. According to the job listing, the workers must also wear a VR headset for extended periods, which may cause discomfort or motion sickness. The candidates must be between 5'7 and 5'11 for the motion capture suits to fit. They must be able to walk for over 7 hours a day, carrying up to 30 pounds. 
Tesla plans to produce the Tesla bot in limited quantities for internal use at Tesla's factory in 2025 and to offer it externally in 2026. This advanced AI robot is coming for the Tesla Optimus. That's according to Peng Jihui, founder of IGBot, which also operates as Zhuan Robot. The former Huawei youth genius just unveiled the company's humanoid robot line, including its flagship, the Expedition A2. The South China Morning Post quoted the 31-year-old as saying that major breakthroughs in the past year position IGBot at the forefront of the industry. According to Chinese state media, the founder said his company can compete directly with Tesla's Optimus AI robots. He believes Ajibot can better produce and sell the robots at a lower cost. The humanoid robot is capable of tasks requiring extreme precision like threading a needle. The 5'6 robot, weighing about 150 pounds, has 40 degrees of freedom. It has sensors like cameras, LiDAR, and microphones to interact with dynamic environments. The company says the A2 is ideal for roles like customer service and business consulting. The robot can carry light objects and walks at about 2 miles per hour. Its battery lasts for about 2 hours. As noted in Imaginative, Jihui introduced several new robots alongside its flagship. The Expedition A2W robot is designed for flexible manufacturing tasks. It can carry up to 5 kilograms in each arm with 7 degrees of freedom. It's wheeled so it can get around swiftly in industrial settings. The company says the robot's advanced perception and learning abilities make it ideal for a broad range of manufacturing jobs. A heavy-duty version, the Expedition A2 Max, can carry heavy objects. The A2 Max walks a bit slower, but it has 67 full-body degrees of freedom. The robot's legs are capable of 8,800 newtons of thrust, which is enough to lift a small car. Its 450 newton meters of torque delivers the force needed to tighten a large, tough bolt or turn a large crank. Ajibot aims to deliver 300 of the AI robots by the end of the year. The startup plans to commercialize the robots next year, targeting the manufacturing sector. This is Astribot S1 an advanced AI robot assistant that uses imitation learning to perform tasks with precision and autonomy. Stardust Intelligence just announced the robot's launch to coincide with the 2024 World Robot Conference. The startup CEO, Lai Ji, told Pan Daily, the ultimate goal is to provide millions of AI robotic assistants that continuously improve, reaching near-human capabilities. He said the startup aims to get AI robots in homes globally in the next 5 to 10 years. The humanoid robot, which travels with a wheeled base, performs tasks like folding clothes, cooking, and cleaning with high accuracy. It can also participate in athletics, like practicing martial arts and shooting basketball. The AI adapts and improves over time, enhancing the robot's efficiency in various tasks. Anushka is the first humanoid robot with a beating heart. It's also the first robot with intelligence based on Vedic values, which are ancient Indian principles of self-awareness, right thinking, and moral behavior. And it was built from scrap parts found in a dump yard. It took students from the Krisha Institute of Engineering and Technology in India about a year and a half to build the humanoid robot. Its face is made from 3D printed flexible silicone skin. It's powered by an i7 processor, uses natural language processing for understanding and responding to queries, and relies on OpenAI's technology to select and process data for interaction. The project was completed on a shoestring budget of less than $2,500. Remember to subscribe to stay hip on the latest in humanoid robotics. Leave suggestions for humanoid robots to include in future roundups in the comments.